Krishnan Guru Murthy, if that's the way you pronounce his name or whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't really care if I'm pronouncing it right. You need to stop doing interviews, man. You do not know how to do interviews. You and your whole 4 News channel should totally get shut down, man, because this is getting ridiculous, honestly. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but he had an interview with Robert Downey Jr. recently regarding the new Marvel um, Avengers movie that's coming out. And I'll have a link below on the this video. He starts... Obviously, like, he starts asking questions to Robert Downey Jr. regarding his character of Iron Man, stuff like that. Um, you can tell right away. I, I've never seen another interview by this guy. Uh, only seen another interview with um, um, with Tarantino. There you go, with Tarantino. And these both interviews are god-awful. They are awful, both of them. But either way, um, that doesn't matter. And I do apologize for the background noise. Um... Okay, my problem with this is that when somebody goes into an interview, and we all know this, um, let's say regarding a movie or whatever, you know, people go to advertise their movie, and it's a privilege as a new channel, as whatever, to have an actor or a prestigious person, you know, or whether it be musician or whatever it is, to go, you know, to your studio and give you an interview. That's always, you know, that's not something everybody can do. So the fact that this guy got an interview with Robert Downey Jr. and fucked it up so bad and was so rude about it. It's just, I don't understand how you could do something like that, you know? Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll kind of explain to you what happens. Robert Downey Jr. is talking kind of about his character and the interviewer starts implementing very awkwardly, may I add, um, Robert Downey Jr.'s bat, you know, past with drugs and alcohol and stuff and he kind of starts insinuating oh maybe it has to do with iron man and the fact that he's arrogant kind of hinting that you know it's uh robert downey jr is implementing his own personality into the character and asking him how he's uh surpassed his you know surpassed the whole drugs and all that deal and you know it's very obvious that he's really trying to make him uncomfortable and He's just trying to just get some... He's asking questions, man, that do not, do not... Are completely irrelevant to the movie or anything like that. And, you know, Robert Downey Jr. kind of... He's kind of thrown off by it, but he still kind of continues and tries to... You know, he plays it cool, but he's still kind of... You know, he's kind of passive-aggressive about it. And you can tell that this guy, the Christian Guru Murthy guy, is really getting nervous and he's getting really uncomfortable... Because Robert Downey Jr. is not letting himself, you know, he's not letting him, his interviewer push him. But it's just ridiculous, man. I mean, I, in my honest opinion, and I think most people know this because it's just, it seems so obvious to me. The whole interview is really set up. And I think from the get-go, they meant to put him in a really awkward situation. And by him, I mean Robert Downey Jr., um, to gain publicity, which this interview has obviously gotten since it was released. You know, I saw it on my Facebook news feed on the trending section on the right side. And I saw it and, you know, it's obviously getting a lot of, um, a lot of, I guess, it's going viral, I guess you could say. And, you know, they say publicity, any publicity is good. And unfortunately, I would have to disagree with that. <laughs> you know, if you work at a restaurant... And, you know, you, let's say there's, you go to a restaurant and you find a bug on your soup and you start telling everybody word of mouth, you know, hey, don't go there. Like you take a picture of it and you put it on Facebook, whatever. That's publicity. Now that is, is that good publicity? Are people going to go to your restaurant because they found a, a fly on, your, on their soup that they bought there? Obviously not. They are not going to go to your restaurant. They are going to avoid it. In fact, they're going to talk bad about it. And it's going to affect the restaurant in the long run. So that's exactly what I feel is going to happen to Channel 4. People are not going to take Channel 4 as a serious source. They are not going to take them seriously. I really hope they lose viewership after these interviews. After people start noticing that these interviewers are obviously just looking to make people uncomfortable. In exchange for publicity. In exchange for being on trending sections of Facebook and 
exchange of people seeing their videos. Now, he had another interview with Tarantino, which I just recently saw I hadn't seen yet. And it's regarding his um, Django Unchained movie. And again, he does the same thing. Unfortunately, I feel like the Tarantino interview, Tarantino gets really, really upset. And he actually sits throughout of all of it. Whereas, you know, Robert Downey Jr. actually walked out of the interview. Um, this, oh man, I, I can't stress enough how much I don't like this guy. I don't know this guy. I can't say I know him personally, obviously. But his disposition, man, pisses me off. I want to punch the guy in the face just by looking at his interviews, man. Like, on the Robert Downey Jr. one, he looks really nervous. And he looks, like, really unsettled. But on the other one, he looks very... He looks very comfortable, and he just looks like he just really, really wanted, wants to piss off um, Quentin Tarantino. And that bothers me really much, man. Like, honestly, respect the artist. Respect his work. The, the guy just, whenever he interviews, he doesn't even look like he, he's into it. His responses are very awkward. His, You know, when he's sitting down, he just looks awkward in general. And he, he doesn't look like he's enjoying interviewing. He just looks like he wants to ask questions and make the, the interviewer feel, the interviewee, excuse me, feel uncomfortable. And that's that's not good, man. That's, that's not something that you should stand for. Channel 4 News, I don't know who you were. I didn't know who you were uh, before this. And honestly, I am never going to watch anything. I am not going to support you. In fact, I am going to go against you. In fact, this video is going against you. I hope people watch that video and kind of see what I saw because we're not blind, man. Like, we're going to see that video and no, it doesn't matter. Channel 4 tries to make themselves look like the victim because if you see the post, which again, I will put on the bottom of this video, if you see their, like their, their post uh, regarding the video and stuff, they're making themselves look like the victim when Robert Downey Jr. walks out on an interview. Well, maybe you gave him a reason to. Maybe he, he should have never even been part of the interview you guys were lucky to have him and i i hope other celebrities see this also and decide to never ever go to, and give channel 4 news an interview man you guys are gonna go downhill uh, i don't know how you guys do any of the other stuff i don't know how you guys do your local news i don't know how you guys do any of that but i really really hope that you guys lose viewers you guys lose interviewing opportunities and you guys man like Honestly, if you guys aren't going to do good interviews, then don't do interviews at all. That is what all I have to say uh, regarding this topic. So anyways, guys, check out the videos down below. If you guys really want to see the interviews, they're about seven, eight minutes long. But they're worth it, man. You guys are going to have an idea of what I'm talking about. And you're going to want to punch the guy in the face just like me. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my rant. And y'all have a good one.